All right, let's do some uh, let's do some dynamics here. Right? Um, the first ones, the first um, set of videos here, are going to be ones that uh, that talk about continuity, right? So here's the basic idea: is right? if you've got a pipe like this, right? Okay, and we've got fluid flowing down that pipe. But the volume, the rate of change of volume, is just area times velocity. And then, of course, if the pipe then narrows, the water has to flow along a lot faster. Right? And so what we can set up is uh, area times velocity equals area times velocity. So here we've got a big area, maybe a small velocity. Here we've got a small area and a big velocity, right? So that, that's, you know, that's the putting your thumb over the end of the garden hose kind of a phenomenon that's going on here. Um, there are two varieties of problems, so go look at your, um, at your example problems. Some of them are just using the fact that this is the volume flow rate, and you've got to figure out the time or the volume or something like that, right? And some of them are continuity problems like this, where we just say that it's equal volume flow rate. Now, we'll do it with water, which is incompressible, and then we'll do it with air, and we'll pretend that air is incompressible um, and not account for the subtle changes in volume due to the change in pressure. Um, this is standard. We, 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 you know, we wait till you have calculus to take on the, the, what really happens with a gas. Okay, um, Okay. so let's look at this thing. We've got um, the inner di diameter is, uh, I guess it's flowing this way, right? so it's narrow, and then it gets wide. Okay, so... Um, the first area is the area of the narrow pipe, right? So we go pi uh, times 0 0.0127 divided by 2, right? Square pi r squared. Okay, times the volume, which is 0 0.140 meters per second, right? Did I say volume? Velocity is what really what we're talking about here. And then the uh, where it gets wider, right? Our area is pi times uh, 0 0.0508 divided by 2 squared, right? There's my area, and then, of course, we don't know this velocity. Now, let me give you a clue here. Okay, I'm just going to give you this clue because these problems, you know, the, hard, the hardest part is it's like converting the units or something, right? Pi goes away. You don't even need to use pi, right? Divided by 2 goes away. So really, it's proportional to the, uh, the uh, actually, the, the, the diameter, right? And even the fact that it's uh, we use centimeters, uh, meters instead of centimeters, that that went away, right? This would also work if I say multiplied these by a hundred or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to simply go um, uh, 1.27 squared times 0.14 divided by 5.08 squared, and I get that my velocity is 0 0.00. 875. Okay, and that is uh, meters per second. Okay. Ta -da. So again, again, the way I set these things up secretly in my mind is I do this. I go 1.27 squared. That represents the area, right? Times 0 0.14 is uh, 5.08 divided by 5.08 squared times V, right? This, that's a proxy for the area. Everything else stays the same. The fact that it's diameters, centimeters is the same on both sides, right? Uh, it changes by a ratio of the, of the diameter squared, okay? I mean, go ahead and, you know, if you don't understand that, go ahead and find the actual area in square meters and all that stuff, but I'm just trying to help you out here.